I told you that this Pokemon is able to destroy every single Titan in the game in under an hour? At first, I thought this was absolutely cap, but a lot of people in my comments in my Titan guide were saying, hey, show off this strat. This one's really OP. So I'm here to share this one with all of you, and maybe you can even take this strategy further to destroy other things in the game. Let's get into it. So what you want to do is head east of Mesa Gosa. I'm already by this door, and I'm going to be walking out of here out of the east gate. So let's exit out the east gate and head to this area. Once you arrive out here, you're going to be looking for the very small mushroom looking Pokemon called Nackley. There it is. It's walking around. And what you really want to focus on when catching this Pokemon is making sure that when you do catch it, it has the ability sturdy. A good way to test this out is probably to knock it out. So if I use Aura Sphere on Nackley and it survives, well, now I know it has sturdy and this is the exact one I want. So you don't have to waste your time catching a bunch of these and then trying to look at their natures and decide which one it is. And then I'm just going to go ahead and catch this one right here. And Nackley is caught. Now, if you are early game, I highly suggest that you do catch another Nackley because Nackley is going to have a specific amount of HP at a certain level. And if it blows past that level, the strat for the early game players is going to get wrecked because of certain healing items. But if you are in mid game or late game, it's not going to matter too much because you can use higher level healing items and you can keep conquering things with this Nackley. Now, what you want to do is go ahead and level up your Nackley to level 24. If you have watched my EXP guide, you're going to know that this area up north is a very good area to go ahead and train because there are chances up here. All right, I'm just going to eat this sandwich real quick to summon some chances. So just go ahead and level Nackley up to 24 until it gets to its evolution. Nackley is a rock type, so good Pokemon to level it up against would be fire type Pokemon, ice type Pokemon, flying type Pokemon, and bug Pokemon. And there are a ton of flying and bugs in the first area, as well as Legender being a fire type. So yeah, just knock out some birds in the first area, get it up to a certain level, and it should evolve into Knackle Stack. If you also have any experienced candies or rare candies lying around, it'll be a good idea to use them slightly to get Nackley to the right level of 24 at the most minimal experience level if you are in the early game. Because what's going to happen is these fights that we're going to do with the Titans might over level it to the point where we can't properly do the strategy, which is why I mentioned that we should probably grab ourselves two of them. Okay, at this point, Nackley is going to be evolving, and this is now the official definition of a Minecraft Pokemon. So your Nackley evolved into Knackle Stack which is a very good Pokemon. And it learns this move called Salt Cure, which is probably the most broken move in the game. So I'm just going to replace something over here, maybe get rid of Rock Polish. And this move with this Pokemon is what is going to carry you through all of these Titan fights in the game. Okay, for step two, we arrived in Archer Zone. You can pretty much go to any town that exists, and all you have to do is find one of these vending machines. They're going to be in any major city or major town, and you just want to buy yourself a bunch of lemonades. A bunch of lemonades. Go get yourself some lemonades. It's one of the cheapest things in the game, so you can use your cash or you can use your LP to get this. Just get a bunch of them because you're going to be using them for this strat. I suggest maybe about 20, 25 to 30, just a bunch if you can afford it the more the better especially at the early game if you are in the mid game or late game struggling with taking down titans then you can just use your hyper potions or your max potions whatever can keep knackle stack alive depending on whatever its level is but if you're early you want knackle stack to pretty much just stay between the ranges of 24 and 25 because every heal needs to get it to max hp we're going to be going and challenging the titan that gives you the ability to fly so head over to the asado desert okay as you enter the desert head over to the spot on the map where your paradox dawn fan is pretty much marked it is either the iron tread or the great tusk depending on the game you're in the first thing that you want to do when you start this fight is hit salt cure after you apply salt cure on the pokemon your only job is to start healing your knackle stack that's it that's all you have to do and this is a great thing because don fan's gonna hit you and you're at full health and when you get down to that one percent hp bar you're then going to activate sturdy and sturdy's ability is allowing the pokemon to not get knocked out by a one hit so doesn't matter how high the level of the pokemon is if they hit you and you have sturdy you will survive on one hp this is where the lemonades or higher level potions depending on where you are in the game will come into play you just have to give it something that'll raise its health all the way back up to maximum level 
And as soon as you do that, you will just have to wait out each turn and you'll start to see the health chip and chip and chip non-stop on this Pokemon. Eventually, you'll beat Donphan, heal back up, fight the second fight, do the same thing all over again, and you will have access to flight. Yes, you will have access to flight in the game. If, it, if this is the first thing you're doing in your game, then you will be flying before running or anything. If you are maybe in the later game and you're stuck, then congratulations. Just like that, you have now unlocked the ability to glide and fly around with your Koridon or Maridon. If you were also surprised by what just happened with Stack, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content like this. This is insane. Just subscribe, you'll get videos like this. After unlocking flight in the game, the next place I went to was this tower around the lake because I wanted to fly into the next one. So this is the spot where I went to. It is called Chrysoa Fall. And once I was at the edge, I just lifted off on my Coridon and jumped over and opened up my flight so I could make it to that island. When you land on the island, head over to the north part of it. Remember, you do not have access to swim here. And this might have been a mistake I made, but this is the order I started it off on. And then you, you click on the fish and you initiate this titan battle against Dondozo. And again, same thing. You're going to start the fight, throw down Salt Cure, and just heal up your Pokemon. Now, I made a mistake where I beat this first fight, and after beating the first fight and winning it out, Dondozo went to the next island, and I did not have Swim. And there is no absolute way you can get to the second part. So that was a mistake I made. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the Titan Bird to get the ability to swim i'm heading to the west province area one central okay so once you arrive here just wrap around the hill and head over to the titan fight so start to head up the mountain path just dodge all the boulders this should be pretty easy you do have the power of glide on your side as you're climbing up here i got hit by one or two here but it doesn't do anything so there actually is no consequence to getting hit i thought there would be as soon as you get to the top you will initiate the fight with the titan bombardier this one is going to be <laughs> probably the easiest one throw a salt cure and you're gonna see how much damage salt cure does at this point because you already destroyed don fan and this bird is like the third one that you should probably do in difficulty then comes don fan then comes the fish which i beat the first part of so yeah just destroy this bird do the whole thing you're gonna have a part two of this fight arvin comes in and makes it a lot easier with the salt cure keep on healing up your pokemon and then after this you should now have the power to start swimming in your game head over back to the lake area when you arrive there and simply just jump off the cliff fly as far as you can before you start to collide in the water but this time you have swim and you didn't make the mistake like i did earlier and you're going to fight the hardest titan fight in the game once you arrive at the spot you're going to initiate into the phase two battle with dundozo but something interesting about this fight is there's going to be a phase three but the beauty is arvin is going to be helping you this whole entire time so once again apply the move so start off the battle again by casting salt cure be careful if your knackle stack is now over leveled and if you're in the early game your lemonades might not be doing anything so that's why i mentioned earlier you should have two ready to go so if you're early game switch it out if you're in the mid game or end game and you're just trying to clean up this titan but you're having a hard time then keep whatever knackle stack you have and just throw in the max potions or whatever you need to to keep this pokemon alive but once you apply salt cure you can have another tank pokemon out if you need i decided just to solo all of these with knackle stack at the front of the party as you can see i didn't use any other pokemon and i said just knackle stack only this is my titan slayer and that is how pretty much we were able to knock out dondozo here and then we're going into the next final phase of the surprise pokemon do the same things here nothing should happen to you it's such an easy fight with new constantly you can keep healing it up with lemonades and all that and after you defeat this titan you will gain the power to climb and what i did in my playthrough was i went for don fan first and after don fan i had flight then i went for swim then i had the power to climb but the funny thing is i did not have the power to run fast or i did not have the power to jump high but cloth and earthworm are probably going to be the easiest ones to take down and i don't really think it needs an explanation because if you're able to destroy all these three hardest titans of the game you can pretty much destroy those in the game. I'm actually really curious to see who is going to be the person to say, I beat the whole entire game of Scarlet and Violet with Knackle Stack. And it's amazing what this little mushroom became and what it could do and how Salt Cure was so powerful. Let me know what you guys think of this strat. Is this helpful? 
was this great? If so, leave a like, and I will see you all in this next video. Go ahead and click on that.